What's up, everybody? I got three trades to show you today, and uh, I want to nice. show y'all how I trade a uh, killer trap setup, what? catching longs, trapping in shorts, uh, using a little bit of short squeeze, using their stops um, for momentum, and uh, just wanted to give y'all a heads up. I, I tried to get a recorded video yesterday of a Microsoft trade that I did, but my kid and my wife and TV, it's just been loud in my house, so it's its really distracting, and, it, and for the viewer, the listener, it can be pretty annoying. So anyway, let's talk about these trades today. First, let's go over um, NVIDIA. Short NVIDIA this morning. Killer short. Uh... You know, just a small getting a feel on the market. I'll put in a video right here where I got when I'm watching Meta app. So uh, this is spy on the left, by the way. A few moments later. So the video opened up. She pops above resistance, almost like a fake out breakout, right? Uh, pulls down the view off holds. Looks strong, but then she starts turning right here. So I um I got in. Um, kind of sense some weakness this morning. You know the the markets. Let's let's uh let's go to these dudes. Like here's Q's action this morning. I mean it's just real algoy grindy action, right? Um, Nvidia's daily chart. You know, kind of an odd place for this candle to open up, in my opinion. Yes, she held this um, previous close, but I don't know. Just but kind of sent some weakness in it. You know, gap down this morning. So, took a trade. Uh, right at high, so it wasn't much risk, right? Any kind of real pop through here, I would have had to get out pretty quick. Uh, anyway, made 57 on that. Um... Just traded it down to VWAP. Uh, my next trade was Meta. That was a short on it too. Let's go to. So yeah, sorry I haven't been recording anything. It's just been kind of chaotic in my house. I'm trying to buy a desk for my trading setup and and put it in a in our bedroom where there's less action during the day and less distraction. Or else I got a Cut a bunch of noise out my videos and, and do all this, and it's uh, pretty time consuming. So, Meta, I just let her squeeze up right here. I want to say I got in short uh, right up in here somewhere, about right here. Then, this last pop, as you can see, the premium kind of melted a little bit, and I really nailed that. Uh, that ad right there. I mean, she would have uh, fully broken this. I mean, she's going to go to highs, right? There ain't much here stopping her. Now, she had some pretty good orders right there. So I went ahead and added. And, uh, yeah, nice quick little scalp on that. Could have could have made a little more. Um, but she was kind of struggling up in here. And I just wanted to get her into this 50 right here. Could have, could have been a little bit more patient. Got her down into 352.47. She's been real strong. Plus, this there's, there's a trend on the, this five-minute chart that I got on. Now, the trend ain't going to match up perfectly on the other time frames, but there's a trend coming way back here on the five-minute chart that she was sitting at. So I'm just kind of watching her struggling on this five-minute chart as well. So on this big push down uh, on this five-minute chart, I, I just went ahead and took it close enough to this 352.47, which would have been my target. And uh, let's do Tesla. Now, this Tesla is where I'm going to show you how I trade this. I actually missed the trap trap, but then there's a, just a secondary trade to get into on this trap. So... Small little scalp right here, nothing much that make much profit. I was just, uh, I was in a, I was in a 
more out the money strike and uh, the premium wasn't moving that good so I went ahead and just got out uh, at the first resistance even though I figured she would which was right here I figured she would go to previous close maybe even VWAP so so here's how a trap works so she's been selling off all day right she's getting a nice channel so people are trading the pendulum in this range she's creating a downward range some people call it a trend I look at it more like a range so she puts in this lower low right here it sucks up okay now I'm watching my level threes here yeah, for those of you just watching so IB they got what they call NASDAQ total view and it's not just an interactive brokers thing you can actually go to the NASDAQ website and get it and you can watch where the orders are at you can see where they're kind of stacked up at so I knew on Tesla that these orders were stacked up right here so I want to see a lower low in price she hits the top of the range top of the channel then I wanted to see a, a more of a deeper higher low pullback really wanted to see this pivot break right here I would have got in in the first green candle candle basically like this to indicate she was gonna go and she formed a higher low I was gonna take it now ideally hold this range form put a uh, hold this 255 uh, 55 right here hold it then goes that would have really so so what you're doing is you got this lower low in price you got this the slight higher high now you want to see it come back to pull a higher low you want to see those shorts get piled up pile in and just like it did here it squeezes them out when it when, when you can catch traps like that and so the secondary trade is if you miss that because i didn't get the, the the deeper higher low pullback that i wanted so i just drew a trend from this bottom pivot to this higher low pivot on the trap on the trap itself i drew a um i drew a trend line and I'm looking at, at a retest at the top of this range right here. You got this pivot. You got you see it's struggling right here. Struggled right here, even though it is the top of this channel right here. But I, I got back in in this area, plus this trend. This was my risk. It would have broke that. I would have got out. And uh, would have planned on riding at the previous close, but the, the premium just, it, it just wasn't moving that good. So I went ahead and got out. Anyway, still a good trade. Made $111 on a day. And also, let's let's talk about a, 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 a trap setup on the bear side. So right on, on the long side, especially when you got a stock that's been selling off, it's close to lows, it's at the bottom of its range for today. Um, which we don't know that, right? But as soon as we got this higher high in price, now you wanted to pull back, trap in some bears, Pull a higher low, and then these stops around here, you're going to have a lot of stop losses that's going to go off in here, and that's what fuels this. So you're basically using their stop losses to fuel the momentum of that move. And so Tesla, I mean, not Tesla, sorry, Meta did a excellent one yesterday. Let me pull it up. Okay. Let me get Spy out the way. So yesterday, here's one on the bear side. You let her get nice and extended. You don't try to fade no support, no resistance. You let her get topped out. She makes a low. She makes a lower high. Okay, looking good. Now you want to see that slight lower low in price. And you want to see a, either equal high to this lower high or almost a slight higher high. Slight higher high. You don't want to go really past this. <laughs> this is going to be your ultimate risk in this kind of situation. And you, you want to make sure there's some overhead resistance. I have a trend line up. That same trend line I was trading earlier. She looks like she was close to it yesterday. Yep, she was on it yesterday. So, got a little bit of cushion to play with. But on a stock that's strong like Meta, you want her to be... You, you want some extension and, and you want some exhaustion as far as longs are concerned. So you want you want, you want that high, uh, slight lower high, that lower high. So you can say, okay, there's been a trend change. Then you want you want to trap them longs in for them breakout buyers, right? Then you use their stops. Now, in this case, it kind of formed a head and shoulders type 
of kind of set up but so of course you get in around here this red candle oh too much this red candle right you get in bam I would probably take you know you're at this pivot so you, you know you want to get some risk off pad in your pockets a little bit and then you know she's she is going to be around some resistance on these setups so you, you want to see she's struggling you know you hold your gun so at this point if, if, if I'm taking in profits already then all of a sudden my wrist doesn't it isn't up here no more it's going to be around my entry right because I mean she breaks this she she strongly pushes through it she's the trades over with so don't let a good trade go bad uh, anyway struggle bam you want to get it to that VWAP or at least this low break of this low right so kind of how I look at that I look at break of pivots and stuff so anyways I uh, hope you guys like this trade hope y'all learned something as far as trap setups and and you got another tool in your toolbox for longs and shorts on traps that's those are kind of my favorite trades um, I really like consolidations around resistance and support um, on stronger stocks. And uh, like say at the open, you got you got a strong trending stock and it gaps down and holds some support. Let's say previous close or something like that. It, it tests and you want to see another try. Boom. Um, kind of the same thing on a weak market. But I know Meadow's been strong. She's been a she's been on like a five day banger meth meth head right just straight out the gate just spike 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 so anyway these stocks are getting tired so, but it's a good way to get into them once they set their high or their low uh ranges for today right so you got defined risk um parameters now you got a bit of an entry that you're looking at and you're trying to feel either you're trying to feel if you're long you're trying to get bears short stop losses for momentum if you're short you're trying to get longs breakout buyers there's stops for momentum and you want some real selling or some real short cover and that's 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 the name of the game that's what a lot of i i think when you see other retail traders on like social media they don't really talk about that they mainly talk about flags and different types of patterns but you don't really hear the psychology behind those patterns and so uh, it's kind of what I want to do here, you know, like focus on live tra trades, be transparent, but I also want to get some education behind it. So, anyway, made a okay. So, if y'all notice, I do have some IB trades on here. I, so a friend gave me his link and they gave me some shares, and that's why my my P and L fluctuates. But right now, I'm at about one hundred and ten dollars on a day. So, anyways, hope you guys like this, and uh, hope you guys learned something. Um, Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, do you like the trades? Do you like the Do you like the trap? Do you trade traps? Do you like the traps? Leave me a comment below. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good weekend. Merry Christmas. I may be trading tomorrow on Thursday, the twenty first, December. Maybe not. I do like the volume today. Uh, the volume was kind of lame yesterday, so I only traded one trade. Uh, Microsoft and like I said I did try to record it but it's just too loud in my house so anyways hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and uh, God bless